freshly picked sweet cherries tossed in sugar and a secret ingredient baked in sugar sprinkled tender flaky pie crust. When it comes to favorite summer desserts, this homemade cherry pie always gets rave reviews and requests for seconds. If you've never made a homemade pie before, good news and bad news. Let's start with the good news. The good news, I'm gonna share my four expert tips on how to make a homemade pie from scratch. You're gonna be able to do this. The bad news, well, I'm gonna save that to the end of this video. You've gotta watch right to the end, but don't be worried. Now, to begin, number one key tip, every really good homemade pie begins with an exceptional pie crust. For that perfect pie dough, let's start with the wet ingredients. Into a measure, I'm adding one egg, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and half a cup of cold water. Whisk those ingredients lightly together with a fork. Bonus tip, if you're making this pie on a really hot day, you're gonna wanna add two or three ice cubes into that measure. This liquid needs to be really cold. Into a medium-sized bowl, two and a half cups of unbleached all-purpose flour plus one and a half teaspoons kosher salt. Stir them together. Then we're adding two sticks of unsalted butter. The butter is really cold and we're gonna add the butter in chunks. Next, we're gonna rub the butter into the flour like this, watch. We're gonna go slowly, just rubbing the butter and flour together. It breaks the butter up. We're gonna blend it into the flour until we've got little pea-sized balls. Now, we're gonna take that egg mixture and sprinkle four tablespoons over the butter mix, stir them together. Then we're gonna add three additional tablespoons of that eggy liquid and stir. Our hands are washed, we place them into the bowl and we're gonna bring the dough together by hand. If the dough is too dry, you can add a little bit more of that egg mix, one tablespoon at a time. We're gonna divide the dough into two equal portions. We're gonna form them into discs. We're gonna cover each separately in wrap. Refrigerate your dough for at least an hour before use. Dough is done, check. Tip number two is all about the filling for our cherry pie. This cherry pie is not gonna have a weepy, splushy inside. Instead, it's going to set. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I have six cups of cherries. I've washed them, plucked away the stems, and now I'm pitting them. You can use a funky pitter, like this one, a gift from a friend, or a little paring knife to cut the cherries open and flick out that pit. Warning, cherries are messy and you may want to wear gloves if you don't want your hands getting all pink. Once the cherries are pitted, I'm cutting them into quarters. They go into a medium sized bowl and I'm adding our secret flavor enhancement, one teaspoon pure almond extract. Let's toss everything together. Seriously, I can't explain it, but cherries plus Almond equals fabulous. You'll see when you take your first bite of this pie. Next step, we have a small bowl. I'm adding three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar plus three tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna stir those ingredients together thoroughly. This is a clutch moment in this recipe. Sugar, cornstarch, salt have to be blended together really well before you continue with the recipe. And when we sprinkle it onto the cherries, it can be tossed evenly and thoroughly with those cherries. This makes sure that the filling will set. We can then set our cherries to the side. Filling is ready. Now we're ready to assemble. Third tip, you gotta work your dough. I bring the dough out of the fridge and massage the first disc of chilled dough for a few moments in my hand. Then I'm gonna sprinkle it and my work surface and the pin with flour. The dough goes down in the center of the surface and we're gonna start rolling it out to about a 12 or 14 inch circle. Sometimes I like to lift it to make sure it's not sticking to the board. Other times I might flip it just to make sure it's completely floured and rolling out evenly. 
Next, we're going to transfer the dough onto a 9 inch pie plate, like so. Where I roll up the dough onto the pin, the pie plate goes down and then I unroll the dough. You can then gently push the dough down into the pie plate. We're going to take a small sharp knife and trim away the excess dough from the edge. So far so good, now we're going to fill the shell. Pour the cherries into the pie plate, even them out. Next, we add butter, two tablespoons, and just cut off little bits and dab them onto the top of the pie. Pie goes to the side for a sec as we roll out the second disc of dough. Same process, same technique as the first. When it's rolled out to a nice round shape, it gets rolled back up onto the pin and then unrolled over the filled pie. Trim away the excess dough. I then fold the top crust kind of over and under the lower one, kind of press them together. Then last few details go slowly. Thumb and finger on your right hand meets the thumb on your left hand to create that classic crimped edge all the way around your homemade cherry pie. Our pie is almost done. Let's preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Rack is in the middle position. Final details. Cutting slits into the top crust to let the steam out. Then a really lovely sparkling finish where we craft an egg wash. One egg yolk plus one tablespoon of 35% cream whisked together. We're gonna brush the top of the pie. Again, just go slow and then a sprinkling of sanding sugar. Last one, number four, final pro tip, always place your pie on a foil lined baking sheet. It then goes into the oven for 20 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, I'm gonna rotate the pie plus Reduce the oven temperature to 375, then we're gonna bake for an additional 40 minutes. Ultimately, your pie will have some bubble up. The top is a rich golden brown, and notice that all that bubble over is on the baking sheet and not on your oven. I suggest you let your pie cool for about four hours just to make sure it sets before you enjoy. Talk about enjoyment, I know you're gonna enjoy making this pie. So we've placed the recipe up at weekendatthecottage.com for you to reference. You'll find additional pie videos, just like this one, up on our dedicated YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then finally, find us on your favorite socials. Take pictures of your beautiful pies and post them when you make them. Just hashtag us weekend at the cottage when you do. Okay, ready to see this? Watch, I'm taking a sharp knife and cutting into the pie Look how it comes up from the dish, amazing, over onto a dessert plate. Although you can serve it with ice cream, I actually serve unsweetened whipped cream instead. Homemade cherry pie, this is seriously delicious. I almost forgot, remember off the top, good news, bad news, the bad news, it disappears pretty quick, which is probably pretty good. Actually, you know, it's really good, saving a little piece just for yourself. You can enjoy when you find a quiet moment with whipped cream, homemade cherry pie, perfect. Enjoy. Oh, I love this pie, oh my God. I love pie, 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 pie,